Alright, welcome to protect. Uh, shit, I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Between Two Bones. Uh, I'm Marcello again. And this is Dan McInerney. We're the okay. threat researchers yes. at Protect AI. And just like last time, we continue to not have celebrities on this show. Actually, fresh off the press, celebrities are actually banned from this show now. Yes. So, Bruce right. Springsteen, uh, fuck off <laughs> with your invites. <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to say that. Well, aren't we? <laughs> so, right. we're going to go over the month's top reports from yeah. the vulnerability report. And we have a whole bunch of interesting practical ones this week, this month. Uh, one of the most interesting is this one. It's in Hugging Face Transformers. So, Hugging Face Transformers is a library that Hugging Face puts out for doing all kinds of different stuff with models. It's, it's, um, there's lots of stuff you can do. The issue in this one is that rag retriever dot from pre-trained is a function in transformers that goes and fetches a model from hugging face. So the way it works is rag retriever dot from pre-trained will go download a model from hugging face. Now, so you, if you can trick someone into downloading your malicious model that looks legitimate on your hugging face repo, then there's an issue with how it parses the configuration file that it downloads. So it's gonna go out, it's gonna reach the repo that you think is safe because it looks safe but the config.json file is actually going to point to a malicious repo. And that malicious repo is the one that you're actually going to be downloading the model from. Mm. So an attacker sets up two repos, one real looking, one malicious. They give you the real looking, real looking one. Correct. Yes. English is hard. I, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you download the malicious file because of how the configuration is parsed. So this is a really interesting one because he actually found a way to try and make it wormable too. Wormable might be a strong word, um, but if the person has right access to Hugging Face, who downloads your malicious model, they mm. can actually upload another version of this malicious two repo attack. Okay. And so this is Peng Zhu, who uh, also, if you want to see some good reports and figure out how to make proof of concepts and stuff that make our lives easier, go ahead yeah. and read his reports. They're yeah, really good. Yeah, Peng Zhu is like the, one of the OGs, I think, too. Yeah, right? he's been around yeah, for a Hunter, long time. Yeah, yeah. For a while and hugging face fixed this by implementing an environment variable i think at least according to the comment they made um which is interesting i'm not exactly sure like how that fits in here i don't completely understand like the full flow of things but apparently they implemented a trust remote code environment variable to fix this so that like whenever you download something with the command line tool with a hugging face model uh basically it just doesn't automatically pickle it which yeah. i think is an interesting fix. Uh, should probably... Yeah, good for them for responding quickly. Yeah, yeah, they responded quickly. Hugging Face always does. So, yeah, shout out to Hugging Face for that. We've got a bunch of local file includes again. Local yes. file includes are really, really popular uh, in the bounty program because it's really difficult to do file parsing and reading and writing yes. without having some kind of weird little caveat that you got to like think about, like the URL parser. For yeah, instance, URL which is what's parsing. happening here. Yeah, exactly. And this one, and uh, another, it's another uh, ML flow. Local file include by Mizu. A shout out to Kevin Mizu, who always who really likes to pick on MLflow a lot. Also, shout out to MLflow because they've been inundated with our reports and they've been fixing every single one of them. So, huge shout out to them. Um, but basically, this one is uh, yet again a uh, URL parsing confusion bug, basically, uh, which uh, Mizu found that basically MLflow interprets URLs using the uh, URL parsing Python library. And uh, URL uh, parsing really isn't a secure URL parsing implementation. It gets uh, so confusing yes. to parse URLs. And I was actually looking into this. I'm not exactly sure if there's even a secure URL parsing library yeah. for Python that doesn't like that that actually is. Yeah, it doesn't secure. have these weird side doesn't have, issues yeah, yeah, with and the like nuances. Works. So I'm not exactly sure what the fix would be here, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I mean, um, they fixed it. We just didn't look at the fix. Yeah, we didn't look at the fix, <laughs> to be perfectly Very clear. prepared. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, but, but I think the ideal situation would be here to use a framework that, or use a web framework that actually interprets URLs securely, like the Django, but with MLflow, I think it's a little more complicated than that because they support like different like non-web-based URLs. Right, like that's what makes it so URLs. complicated. Yeah, that's what makes S3 it so complicated. S3 URLs yeah, exactly. and like all these crazy things. So and like, so like, yeah. you know, a question mark in the wrong place, a bunch of slashes and then a question mark yeah. is going to screw up some of these URL parsers. And 
depending on the URL parsing library you use, it has different nuances. Like, like JavaScript's URL parsing and stuff works differently than Python's URL parsing. Yeah. There's different examples. It's, it gets really messy, gets, and that's why yeah. we're seeing all these LFIs. Yeah, LFI is by far like the most common thing that we see on, uh, on all the Hunter reports, I yeah. think, by far. So we've gotten some really cool practical attacks this month. Yes. Uh, keyword is practical. Yeah, I want to underline practical. <laughs> For all of the people submitting bug bounty reports on yeah. Azure. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, you, you start with let's, this because. Let's get a little uh, yeah. overview of the program is the maintainers are not paying you. We are paying yeah, you. Yeah, li literally us. Yes. There's, so, there's 700 boats on my shirt right now. And if it would be 800, each one of if these I didn't boats, have to pay each one of these for all of these bugs, is a report. So, what we're looking for is practical vulnerabilities that a hacker would be excited to see on a pen test. Yes. And we don't want to give out spamming maintainers with every single report that's like local library command injection oh. that is only exploitable in the worst, <laughs> least likely architecture design choices. Well, to be fair, OK, OK, let's, let's, clear, let's clear this up. So local command injection is valid, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is a valid thing. Yeah. If, if you can prove elevation of privilege, or if it's like exploitable remotely somehow. Yes. Like, if there's like a web the component. So yeah, if there's a web component to it where like somehow you can get like something to run that exploits a local command injection, you're good to go. Uh, if you can demonstrate elevation of privilege of it, maybe there's like something running in a different security context that you can use to like elevate privileges. That's also you're good to go there. But if it's just a library. It, that like a make file, wink, wink. I know y'all are <laughs> uh, out there like parse, looking at make files for some reason. Like, and yeah, that's utility not, script yeah, stuff. utility script. No, thank you. Yeah, that's not gonna. We're, we're gonna, gonna close those. Yeah, we're gonna because we're we gonna, don't. Want, the maintainers aren't gonna care about that either. Big old close button on that. So we may be a couple of dumb dumbs, but we are open source developers ourselves and yeah. red teamers for a long time. Exactly. Uh, so what we want to see is stuff that wouldn't bother us and that we'd be excited to see on a pen test. Yeah. So, as the first guest, I'd like to welcome uh, Mr. Marcello Salvati. Oh, I'm going to give a little interview here because he is an open source developer. Uh, I think one of the top 500. I'm not 500. a celebrity either, so this is fine. Oh, you're the most famous person we're going to get on no, here. No, no, no. Yeah, that we will ever have on here. Yeah, yeah, no, because they're banned. I think you're one of like the top 500 most starred Python GitHub accounts. Mm. So we got the open source, okay. and he's a hacker. Yeah. So let's start this interview off. Um, now, Mr. Salvati, you've had yeah. a very esteemed career. Uh, at any point. Steamed. Yes. Steamed. At any point during the many different things you attacked on your pen test career, mm -hmm. you know, the, the bank headquarters and stuff. Legally, of course, these are all contract work. Uh, well, were you thank ever, you for clarifying that. Yes. <laughs> were you ever super excited to see you know, a local command injection in a locally installed library with no remote components? Nah, no. Yeah, see, open no. and shut case. There's no, no more of these. No, you don't no. need those. I think part of the problem is, like, I, I, I do understand, like, the, like, I do understand like you know, you you you've been you know hacking on this one uh, like bug report on Hunter for you know hours and hours, and you finally find like the this one thing that may or may not be a security vulnerability. But you gotta actually like prove that it is a security issue before submitting on a Hunter. That's the main thing. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you're not gonna get paid. So like that that it, and, and again, it's us too doing this. So you know, for all of our sakes, just please you know just just it, just it it really makes us very sure. happy when it the makes us very happy. Is very good. Yes, like if you wanna if you wanna guarantee payout on Hunter, you know, submit a proof of concept, you know, better like Metasploit the, module. Yeah. Marcello here actually wrote an entire post on how to make Metasploit modules yes. out of these. Which we Go. haven't published yet. <laughs> oh, yes. <Okay. laughs> so when is the, that is published, I guess we'll link that down. In yes. The on the next between two bones, <laughs> yeah, we will yeah. have that link ready to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. But yes, I did write, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, but I mean, it's, you can write a nuclei template. Or really anything like it doesn't matter. Just attach a proof of concept. Just yep. don't don't skimp out of the proof of concept because otherwise, most of the time we're just going to close this out. Um, that 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 that's yep. that's really is it. Um, and what else? I think that's basically it. Yeah, I think that's uh, most of the month's shout issues. To, wait, we shout out, we shout, we shout Mizu out. and Pengzu. Pen, Pengzu. I hope we're saying those right. Honestly, we have no idea. Are they related? No. No. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, never mind. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> they just know. end with zoo. Okay, all right, fair enough. All right. Shout out to all of the, I just want to say personally, shout out to all the hunters uh, that have been uh, submitting reports like crazy over the weekend. We've had 37 reports in the span of three days. So uh, thank you for all the new work that you gave us 
personally. Yep. Uh, thank you for that. Yes, it's a, but, but, yeah, it's no, a blessing but, and a curse. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> uh, but but also, uh, we have to also shout out the fact that we're, there are going to be new exploits. Yes, uh, exploits. so we're going to be starting to release all the new vulnerability templates and exploits in our AI-exploits repo on GitHub. Yes. So that it's easier to figure out if your environment is vulnerable to these, and then for the pen testers to actually make the exploitation and show companies how they're vulnerable and what exactly. can be done with them. Yeah, and you can use it to actually identify these bugs in your environment mm. or wherever you see fit, I guess, legally. Yep. Yeah. All right, so check out AI exploits. Yeah. And we'll see you Link next month. Link in description, I guess, right? I guess. Yeah, all right, next month. Ready to spotlight your skills? Join the hunt on hunter.com.